Hi guys, welcome back to Lock and Diggers. Well today I'm going to show you how to take some rosemary cuttings and turn them into rosemary bushes and um, it's going to take you probably five to six weeks to do all that. However, I did do some about four five weeks ago. I uh, did a couple did some cuttings and um, what I'm going to do today I'm going to take you to the bush and I'm going to take, show you how to take more cuttings off the bush and I'm going to show you how to prepare the cuttings for planting and uh, we're going to show you um, how simple that is. I'm going to be using clover multi-purpose there's a reason why I use clover is because it's got a lot of loam in it the loam retains the, um, the, the, the moisture and that's what you want if you want to develop the roots fast you need you need um, a compost that will, will keep the moisture in and um, clover does that so whatever compost you get make sure it's got loam in it and um, you cracked it so I think that what we're going to do we're going to start off we're going to go down to the bush and I'm going to show you the cuttings that you want to take you don't want to go taking any anything wood leave it alone you just want the the top part that the the, the the new growth that's what you're looking for the three to four inches on the on the, the tips of the the plants so let me show you the, what you need to to cut hi guys well today I'm getting some clippings Buttercup's making sure that I don't damage the plant by watching every move I make. But here we are. And um, how I get the cuttings, I just snip all of the tops. Want the, the green, green stuff. I've got a better pair of scissors. Couple more. What I'm looking for is the green shoots, not the uh, the woody ones. You want the green. So you want the, the young. I think we've got enough there right let's get back over to um, the front of the plot and I'll show you how I do my cuttings with these this by the way is rosemary and uh, that's a rosemary bush so <laughs> if I didn't say that at the start that's what I'm doing I'm taking some rosemary cuttings so you see you've got you got the cuttings there um, all the cuttings um, I've got to tell you I, I've done a, I've done you're gonna see me doing one pot but I've done two pots I've done another two I've, I've done another two of these pots because I'm gonna be giving them away to everyone but uh, you saw you saw the uh, what we've done we've given much um, we, we cut them off you only want the green material you want the not the wooded stuff it's got to be the green three to four inches that's what you want to take off the tops of the plants so it's how many you want to grow how many you want to, how many you want to get started I took around about 15 cuttings which I'm going to show you and um, me doing first I'd actually done more but I'm just going to show you me doing these ones this is how easy it is remember um, you need to use the compost you need to use it's got it's got to have loam in it I like to use the five inch pot I put the compost in and then what I do is get it about yay high compost gently press it down you don't have push it and force it down you you want it so it's just like a sponger you, um, you know not too much and not too little remember the three bears that's what you want <laughs> So if you use that philosophy, um, you should do. You should get some fantastic results with your um, with your cuttings. 
So I'm going to show you the steps that what you need to do now. So there's my rosemary cuttings. This is the pot that I'm going to use to put my um, my, sh my side shoots in or my cuttings. Um, I'm using some clover. Nice pot of clover. So you've got the clover there. Now then, it's as simple as this. What I do, half the, the leaves, I strip them off. And I put a little angled cut there. And then shove them into the side of the pot. Oh, it's a bit woody there. But again, what I'm doing, I'm taking half the, the shoots off. That one's got already got an angle. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing them into the edge of the pot. They always seem to root better when you do that. You don't want the woody bit. People say, can never get cuttings. Of, uh, I can't get rosemary cuttings. They never ever um, take for me. Well, you see I'm not using no rooting compound or anything like that I'm just pushing them in there's nothing simpler see all I'm doing that little node there And pushing them into the edge. You don't have to push them into the edge. They will take in the middle, but they always seem to grow faster if you grow them at the side of the pot. They seem to the roots seem to take quick uh, quicker. But we are going to put a few in the centre. my flask going again yeah there's a little node there I just pinch it cut it at an angle really buttercup Another one there. You don't want the 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 woody stuff. You want the greens. You want the green material. Right. So all that there can be taken home and can be used with some um, some lamb. Put that there now. All I need to do is give it a drink of water. Good soaking. I'm going to shove that in my greenhouse and uh, leave it to it. Now, I've actually done some more of these, so if you give me a minute, I'll go and grab them. But um, that's how easy it is to take cuttings from rosemary. So this is the, um, the cuttings I've just done, and all I'm going to do is sit them just there. And then each day, come along, 
with one of these and just tip a little bit of water in there just don't forget to water them and you'll soon tell when they start to grow because obviously they'll start to get taller but these are about an inch and a half, 40 milli sticking out and 30 milli sticking in the ground you see how much, how much I made that that stem and then shoved it in the ground that's how much you want to shove it in that way you're going to get lots of roots pretty fast but yeah that's how to do rosemary cuttings and same with lavender guys um quite easy to do it's easy to get a cut in so as you've just seen there three inches strip half of it away at the end of that where you took the cut in you look for the, the little little lump little node where the um the leaves the last lot of leaves used to be and just cut it on an angle just slightly on an angle and then you see me pushing them into the side of the pot now you can put them in the middle of the pot and i did do that they will grow in the middle of the pot as well but i find they take really well around the edges and um I've, I've put around about 15 into a, into a five inch pot and uh, like I say water them once a day just, just make sure they do not let them dry out you know if they're working after about a week and a half because the ones what have died they're just going to go brown you'll see that straight away um, but every one of them should take now then that's how I do it I put them in the greenhouse I put them up high as well let these because it's warmer up there and um, just, just keep an eye on them. It should take about four to five weeks for them to actually get good roots on them. Anyway, that being said, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I'm going to show you a, a, a pot I prepared five weeks ago. I think it was about four or five weeks ago. I took some cuttings. The same size. And um, how I know they've rooted is because they got bigger in this pot so we're going to get the tr I've got a little tray here we're going to use some more clover and we're going to pot them on the crucial point in this this stage here is making sure that you put them in the new pots the same level as you took them out so don't plant them deeper they're not tomatoes and if you plant them deeper I'll probably end up killing them so let me quickly show you um, the, the the pot that we prepared we're going to tease the roots out and we're going to plant them on so what you're looking at here is my clover uh, just break the lumps up a bit a lot of, a lot of loam in there I normally riddle it out, but when you're doing when you're doing cuttings, um, no need to. So get yourself a pot, level it off. You can see the loam there. So you've got your pot. Here's the ones I've done earlier. So look at the roots in the bottom of that. So now I've got to get them out of here and we've got to separate them which is going to be a bit difficult i shouldn't have left them in there too long but we could have roots on them so what we're going to have to do is take some compost out of here i didn't really think about this when i did it but uh you see how well They've, um, they've rooted and this is after about I think it's about two weeks three weeks they've been in the greenhouse there just sat um, growing away so I've got a few of these I don't really need to do any more but just got to tease them apart look at the roots on these here wow That's a really big one. I could do with going in a bigger pot, that to be quite honest with you. So, 
this is the results of um, the last cuttings I've done like I say tease them apart Bit more compost there I'm going to be replacing all my um, the rosemary because it's gone too woody now but uh, I keep them in these pots for a couple more couple more weeks then I'm going to transfer them into them big pots over there eventually but uh, yeah I'm going to continue getting all these I mean look at the roots on that that's just off a little cutting so those of you who want to know how to take cuttings and how to start cuttings you don't need any rooting compound what you do need is a really good compost and like I say this clover is really good so I'm going to have at it get the rest of them pl planted and we'll be right back so there we go guys I've got uh, 15 cuttings um, and as you, as you saw there, they rooted really, really well in that pot. You don't need a bigger pot. All you need is a pot this big. And like I say, um, just leave them for about, I'd say four weeks, and then, then pot them on. But there's no nothing easier than what I've just done. Now what I'm going to do is give them a good soaking. So I've got water here. However, we're not going to soak them from the top. Well, we will soak them this time from the top, but uh, we're just going to give them a little bit of water. It'll be the only time I'm watering them from the top as well. So they've got a good watering I guarantee you these will fly away now they're in single pots on their own so there you go we got 15 we put 15 in we got 15 out 100% um, rooting we use no rooting compound you don't have to go wasting your money buying rooting compound all you got to do is make sure you get sort of decent decent compost to actually grow them in so there you go that's that's it that's it how easy it is to actually get your rosemary started and you can do that with lavender you can do that with um, privets anything like that you just need to take the, the, the green the top green bits off the plants and um, pot them on <laughs> put them into pots and within no time you're gonna have a pile of them Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. Um, if you like videos like this, I'll, I'll, I'll put a few more up. I've got lots of different um, ways of um, starting things off. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you how to, to actually get rosemary started. It's dead simple, dead simple. And uh, being q um, you, you get, I think you're paying about, um, for one about yay big. I think it's uh, a tenner for free or something, a 12 quid for three of them. It might cost nothing, just a bit of compost. Anyway, that's it from me and Buttercup. Thanks for watching, stay safe and uh, goodbye for now. I think that's a wrap, eh, Butts? Eh, should we go and do some lavender? Eh, should we go and get some lavender and do some lavender? Eh, should we? I think we should. Let's go and pinch someone's lavender. Well, let's go and ask someone who's got some nice lavender. And See if we can pinch a couple of sprigs. I know where to go. Come on, let's go and raid them. See you in a bit, guys.